Hey guys, it's Marcia with Marcia's Mind. Welcome back to my channel. What is on my mind today? Um, just a few tips for you working in a call center. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a small video or a short video rather than a long one and give you just a couple of tips that have been working for me in the call center. You know that I work in one. I can't tell you where or for what company, but I do work for one. And I have been there for almost five years come September. And I have noticed some things that work very well. So I wanted to share that with you. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And if you're not new, welcome back. And thanks for supporting my channel. I appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up, give me some feedback, leave a comment down below. And if you wanna consider subscribing, please do hit the bell notification so you are notified of the videos because YouTube is doing something different. And so if you don't hit that bell, you won't know I make a video. Number one, one of the things I wanna share with you is the I understand. I know it sounds so cliche, and when you say this, I don't want you to say it as a robot. There are certain types, certain times that you say this, that it really, really corresponds and really helps. And you just kind of know when to say it. Um, when I hear a call center agent say, I understand, that sounds really cliche when they're saying it and I don't know if they really mean it. Um, especially if it's something that's not happening to them or they can't relate to. I don't know, but there are some things that you can really understand. <laughs> so don't be afraid to use that phrase. I understand. Number two. Number two would be crystals. Yes, I'm all about using crystals. And I am talking about rose quartz, crystal quartz, uh, amethyst. These things are powerful. I didn't really understand this before until I used them this year, um, starting a little bit of last year into this year. Boy, I have full blown all of them. Crystals on my desk, I'm holding them in my hand as I'm with a caller, especially to feel that connection with them, or if I don't feel a connection with them, I will hold my amethyst. If I feel my ego getting in the way, I will use my rose quartz and the love, uh, you know, to radiate love. And um, I don't know, the, this just seems to be really helping a lot. And I don't know, I don't care if it's in my head because it seems to be working a heck of a lot. So crystal quartz, rose quartz, um, amethyst, awesome, awesome. I have uh, all sizes, but not like a whole bunch on my desk where people are going to be like, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> but I do um, but I do have them on my desk. They're cute little ones that I have. They're outside charging in the sunshine now, although it is a little overcast today. And a little rain came down. What? But anyway, um, the third tip would be to put them on hold. If they are being rude, or upset, you know, really look into their file if you can and put them on hold. Even if you have the answer right away and you're trying to do your time, put them on hold for a while because it really shows them that you are trying to help them. And um, I just think it really helps calm them down. And it's funny because one time, a long time ago before I ever even had a call center job, you know, I call customer service for something and they put me on hold for a long time. I got to thinking, what could be making them take so long about this question? And then I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if they're just finishing their notes. I wish they'd hurry up and get back on. And then when they got back on, I was like, okay, I wanna get off the phone. So that kind of does help. I mean, one, you get to finish your note. Two, they wanna get off the phone. And three, they feel like you're helping them, even if you're not. But yeah, I just think it's a, a good little thing. And also, if you need to get your thoughts together or find something and they're not talking in your ear, then put them on hold. Hold is your friend. Fourth tip <laughs> would be to surround yourself with positivity. So whether it be positive pictures of your family that makes you happy 
or positive um, affirmations or quotes if you're allowed to on your desk or in the office that is awesome number five would be gratitude always give gratitude every time I get to work I thank the universe for my parking spot me getting there safe and sound on time and then as I walk into the office I just continue to say thank you 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 of course in my head or quietly to myself so those were the uh, five tips and I hope you have a great day and Tell me how you're doing in your call center job. How are you doing? If you have any questions, please leave a question below or a tip for everyone else. And I will make more videos with the other tips because I have plenty more. Okay guys, and check out the video that I made before and a funny one too. So check these guys out and I hope you have a great day. Bye.